next Spice Award entry this year, I'm going to be doing a pink sunset look. So first I'm going to apply some moisturizer because I just have really dry skin and this will help. And yes, I do wipe off because I don't want it to be greasy, but like it's still moisturized. And then I'm going to use the NYX Photo 11 Face Primer and apply that to my face because we gotta look good for the camera. I mean, it is the NYX Face Awards. Now, I don't know if you want to do this first because this tutorial will get messy, but I'm just going to apply my normal face makeup. So right now, I'm applying my concealer in a triangle motion because it kind of like highlights your face. I don't know. It's just a new technique and I started doing it and I love it. And then I'm also going to apply it to my blemishes because it is a pink sunset and to me, that's kind of like magical. set it with some powder just because not always the blemishes get covered up I'm going to go over it again with concealer after that I'm going to use the same brush with some powder and just set like wherever I really put concealer on like packed it on you need to try this if you haven't it really sets your concealer and blends it into your skin more it's actually really nice so what are you doing with your life if you haven't tried it okay so this part is kind of weird but I'm going to be using some tape this will just help me with my eyeshadow and I know some people can do it without tape but some people can't like we gotta be considerate aka me I'm not going to angle it towards my eyebrow I'm gonna kind of like put it between flat and like high for an eyeshadow base I'm going to use the NYX eyeshadow pencil and milk this will just help the colors pop up more not that we really will see the eyeshadow but it still helps a lot Look, I'm going to be using the NYX Primal Colors eyeshadow in hot yellow and I'm basically going to apply that to like the inner part of my eyelid and then make it to where it's past a little bit of my pupil but not half of it. The next NYX Primal Colors eyeshadow I'm going to be using is hot orange and I'm going to apply that kind of to the middle of my eyelid. Make it go past the pupil and then stop kind of where the white part of your eye is but only halfway because you're still going to add another color afterwards. the outside color I'm going to be using the next eyeshadow wild orchid it's kind of a hot pink color and I'm going to apply that to the outer corner of my eye and then kind of wing it out I wing it out further than I really end up doing it at the end but right there I winged it out to where my eyebrow ends but I decided to do it halfway between my eye and my eyebrow later on just so you know and just so we still don't have a horrible crease because it might still show underneath the glitter I'm going to use a blending brush and blend out my eyeshadow next I'm going to be taking a gold glitter and I'm going to be applying that over the yellow eyeshadow make sure to put it into your crease too that way like your eyeshadow won't be seen and it looks kind of more like eyeshadow instead of just glitter Okay, because the next glitter, I couldn't find it the way I found the other two glitters. I'm going to be applying some eyelash glue instead of glitter glue because I didn't have glitter glue. And I'm just going to apply it over the orange shadow. I'm going to like spread it out so I like I don't use too much, but I don't use too little if that makes any sense. For the orange glitter, I'm going to be using the next Face and Body Glitter in Copper. And I'm going to be using a brush to put this on and it might take a while because it is glitter and glue. It kind of sticks to the brush. Just as long as you keep packing it on, it's going to be all good. And it doesn't matter if it's messing the crease you will see why later and then I'm going to be using the pink glitter and applying that over the pink eyeshadow like I said I did wing this out to the end of my eyebrow first and then I ended up changing it to in between my eyebrow and my eye make sure to let like two minutes pass by so the glitter completely dries now to add definition and just because the glitter did make my eyes look smaller I'm going to be taking a grayish brownish eyeshadow and applying it to my crease like just blend it in this will also help blend the glitters together just like we don't like harsh lines in eyeshadow we don't like harsh lines in glitter to blend the glitter out I'm just taking the hot orange next eyeshadow again and I'm applying that in between the gold and orange glitter and for in between the orange and pink glitter I'm just gonna be using the pink eyeshadow I had and again doing the same thing just to blend it out to need the eyeliner I'm using liquid eyeliner just because any other type of eyeliner won't really draw good on glitter and I'm going to be making kind of a thick line just because I'm going to be applying fake lashes later and if I make it really thin it's not gonna show up and I'm also going to be winging that out like I did with my eyeshadow to prep for my false eyelashes I'm going to curl my normal eyelashes I'm going to 
directly apply the eyelash glue to the eyelashes because this glue in some way like dries faster as long as you put it on your skin. Instead of letting the glue kind of dry, I'm going to automatically put the lashes on my eye. Just a quick tip, if you have any tweezers and you didn't get the eyelashes close to your eyelash line, just push it down with the tweezers and trust me, it works. It like gets it as close as possible to your eyelash line. Don't worry if you get any glue on like your eyelid, it will dry clear so it doesn't matter what happens. To blend my normal eyelashes to my fave ones, I am just going to use some mascara. Not really a lot just because I don't want it to be too dramatic and take away from the eyeshadow. carefully take off the tape because this is the eye area and it's very sensitive and you don't want wrinkles trust me we don't want to look old when we're young now going again with the same gold glitter I'm going to underline my eyes and just stop where like the gold glitter stops and also I'm going to apply it to my inner corner of my eye and then to apply the orange glitter, I'm going to take the eyelash glue again and then just apply the orange glitter with like a really thin brush. And then I'm going to underline my eyes with the pink glitter, just basically following the same steps as my eyelid. doing my eyebrows and I'm just gonna use the same normal eyebrow pencil I use every single day. I decided to keep my eyebrows black just because my eyelashes are black and that way there's kind of a combination to it. This eyebrow is going to Harvard gain a college degree and this eyebrow is there. But this one's trying to go to college. It's just not there yet. Okay, so after doing my eyebrows, I'm going to be taking some hot pink blush and applying it kind of like highlighter. It doesn't matter how vibrant this blush will end up, just because you kind of want it to be real vibrant. Because you will be placing clear confetti over it. Now back with the eyelash glue, I'm going to be applying that over the blush I just applied. And then I'm going to spread it out with the smudger. Okay, here's, so here's the messy part. I take the confetti and apply that to my face because, you know, that's gonna be our highlighter, if you know what I mean. This look is just magical and it just makes me feel magical, so me, let me do me. And then to add some more glam to this look, I'm going to be taking some yellow rhinestones and applying it like over my eyebrows, if you know, like those Coachella dots that people do. I just think it adds so much more glam and girliness and I love it. I'm going to be using a hot pink fuchsia lip gloss. And then I'm going to be tapping it with a tissue to get any of the excess color off my lips. Next, I'm taking the next Jumbo Pencil and Milk again, and I'm going to just be coloring the inner of my lip. And now I'm just going to be taking the yellow eyeshadow again and applying that on. And then back at it again with the eyelash glue for once more. But I'm applying eyelash glue because I'm going to be applying the orange glitter to my lips to make it look like, I don't know, that magical thing I've been talking about in this video. And so that is my pink sunset look for the next Face Awards. And let's just hope we get to the top 30 this year because it would really be amazing and awesome. And yeah, bye.